Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to present our research title, a Prototype of a Medical Mask Using a Novel Antimicrobial Antiviral Biofilter Material. I am Gloria Porto, Associate Professor at the Wood Science and Technology Department at West Virginia University. And here is the team that is working in this project. Dr. Rakesh Gupta, copy I, Dr. Edward Sabolsky, copy I as well, Dr. Sushan Agarwal, Dr. Jonathan Boyd, Dr. Rossi Santos, and our uh, graduate student, Kevin Sivaneri. So, um, let's see, let me move this. There you go. The synergetic efforts to per perform this project are coming from three different departments and colleges at uh, West Virginia University the College of Agricultural Natural Resources and Design, the College of Engineering, and the College of Health Sciences. So now, considering that there is an important increase of health care associated infections in hospitals due to the increased load of deceased patients and the lack of proper and effective protection for the medical community. The common personal protection equipment are disposable, non-degradable, single-use items, vulnerable to penetration by microorganisms, and also the common type of particulate filtering face piece respirators are made of non-degradable, non-woven polypropylene fiber and removes 95% of airborne particles. So our main goal is to develop a novel biofilter that uh, will be a non-woven material prepared with polylactic acid fibers in combination with nanocellulosic fibers, which in turn will be coated with copper nanoparticles. So the final material will be able to remove 99.999% of airborne, part airborne particles and will have antimicrobial properties. And those are going to be provided by the uh, application of no, uh, copper nanoparticles. So the central hypothesis of this project are that by coating efficiently and quickly bio nanocomposite filaments, polylactic acid plus cellulose nanofibers with copper nanoparticles, we will reach the effectiveness of these particles towards killing 99.999% of bacteria and viruses. And the second is considering the diameter of the nanocellulosic materials are smaller than the common size of the new coronavirus COVID-19, which is spherical with a diameter of approximately 125 nanometers. So it is expected that the viruses can be retained in the biofilter prepared with an optimum and well-distributed amount of nanocellulosic material. So to move fast, we printed a prototype of a mask in a 3D printer using two different filaments, polylactic acid that you can see here in white and polylactic acid reinforced with wood particles. So in this design, we are focusing our attention in developing our biofilter that will be incorporated here. So in the pictures on the right, you can see some examples of a 3D printer printed specimens prepared with a polylactic acid and, and wood. However, our attention right in this presentation will be in the biofilter that will be here. So in the preparation of our biofilter, we are using two approaches, electrospinning and force spinning processes. In the electrospinning process, electric forces are used to produce the fibers. And here you can see some examples of polylactic acid fibers produced and uh, produced, right? And here you can see different magnifications of these fibers. And um, it is expected, right, that the porosity that you can observe here can help us to uh, for a better incorporation of the antimicrobial copper nanoparticles. So in the case of force spinning process, centrifugal forces are used to generate the fibers. And here also you can see the final porosity, right, generated for this specific process. So, um, we have been also following different approaches in order to incorporate copper nanoparticles uh, on the fibers. And one of them is using a master batch copper polylactic acid provided by a Chilean company. And uh, here you can see also that the particles right on the surface of the fibers correspond to copper that we analyze and of course confirm that uh, there are copper nanoparticles on the surface of these fibers. 
So regarding to testing, we are using again a 3D printing process to optimize a filtering device that will be used for all the specific tests that are related to our biofat filter in terms of breathability, filtration, and fit test. So finally, our ongoing work is combining our polylactic acid fibers with nanocellulosic fiber and copper nanoparticles and determining their antimicrobial properties. And almost in parallel, right, we are starting with the full characterization of the biofat filter following standards presented in this slide. So with that, I am finishing. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you NSF for giving us, for providing funds to uh, execute this project. So thank you again. And if you have any question, I will be um, in the chat answering and, and my email address is also presented here. Thank you again.